Assalamu alaikum and very good morning to all students. So today we are going to continue our data communication and networking program okay, with this lab session. So this one is a lab zero. So I will introduce to you guys to how to download and install Packet Tracer on your own computer so that you can conduct your lab sheets properly in your PC. So you have your own web browser here. I'm using Google Chrome, so I'm very uh, quite uh, quite used to Google Chrome. So uh, so let's open uh, your NetAcad page first. So this one is a NetAcad page, okay, where you will download and you can view all the resources that you have uh, for this course that is certified by the uh, certified by Cisco. So I already given all of you, okay, especially your your if in case of you are in under my supervision. So if you you can get your own uh, login credentials from your own respective lecturers in this course, okay. So you can log in to your account here that we have uh, created your class for you. So this is my account. Okay, so okay, so I'm as a teacher, as a lecturer for you guys, as a, your your lecturer. So I mean, I'm teaching section. So you guys should be under your uh, your I am learning section. So I have also my own I am learning section here. Okay, so this is where I took it previously. So let's go to your class. Okay. So, in case you are from my section, which is section 3B and 3A, okay, you can click the launch course button. So, once you're in the launch course button, okay, so my internet is quite bad currently. So, I'm using a broadband internet, wireless broadband internet. So uh, quite slow, so that's why most of the reason uh, that is one of the reason I I could not conduct a live class for all of the students. Oh. Okay, so we're inside the course. Okay, so when you're entering the course, okay, you can uh, you can uh, get the packet software from the modules. So inside the modules, you have student resources. So inside the student resources, you can see that here we have packet tracer resources. You click the packet tracer resources you can download here so in case you are using uh, okay uh, this one is the latest one okay version 7 so you can download it okay in, in case of my PC I'm using 63 64-bit uh, PC so I download the 64-bit download so you see you get a download here so it's it take quite some time to download them yeah? It's because it's a quite large file which is 147 megabyte okay so once uh, your download is finished okay double click the launcher okay so once your a window of installation came up. Okay, so set. Okay, set. Application of you want to continue, you want to install. Okay, you can put in uh, shortcuts or something. 
so you can create a desktop shortcut like what I did okay, and then just install so just wait until everything is installed okay Okay, so you're finished. So let's launch the Cisco Packet Tracer now. Okay, so I've installed. So I just log in into my credential. The same username and password that you did when you log in into the NetAcad account. So once you okay, you are already finished. You can start using the packet tracer. Uh, packet tracer already. Okay. So so okay. So let's try and run some packet tracer exercise that we have provided for you. So. Okay, we have uploaded all these packet tracer uh, files, okay, which is uh, under your lab materials, okay. So I'm going to try to open one of them, which is 1.57. This is one of the first, uh, the first exercise that we have. Okay, you, there will some be something like this open. Okay, so you just click OK. Okay, so you already have your file open. Okay, there will be some pop-up windows that are representing the instruction of what you're supposed to do. Okay, but I'm not sure why it doesn't show here. So you can check results, reset those activity based on what you have here. So I will explain this lab session in another video. So hopefully this is enough to demonstrate to you how to download and install and also launch the packet tracer file from your uh, downloads uh, from your downloads from uh, from your downloads uh, material download the material from uh, based on the Google Plus, uh, Google Classroom files that I have uploaded. So I think that's all for this session. Hopefully you stay tuned for your next lab demonstration. So as usual, this is Dr. Shafiq, okay, uh, presenting to you uh, for data communication and networking laboratory. So what I wish for you is to stay safe, stay at home, and stay studying.